The net that we found was first located in September of 2013. The sheer volume of it is pretty astounding. All in all, it, it took about four whole days of cutting and prepping and towing to get this single net, which weighed approximately 11 and a half tons, from the reef back to Honolulu uh, for uh, recycling processes. The focus of our survey and removal efforts is to mitigate the threats that these nets and or other derelict fishing gear have towards our endangered Hawaiian monk seal and as well our threatening green sea turtles here. And essentially these shallow coral reef environments just act as a entrapment for these nets and plastics that are just flowing through the ocean. The video you see, you have in one case two free divers methodically swimming a cargo net um, under a portion of this large monster net that we found and helping to prepare it for transport back to our NOAA ship. From a global perspective, it may be a small net, but in the capacity of the Hawaiian Islands and the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands with pristine coral reefs and uninhabited islands and atolls, it's a pristine ecosystem that these nets essentially can compromise both destroying reefs as well as potentially killing other mobile wildlife. The pile of debris on the back of that NOAA ship and basically that is the fruits of our labor. That's the 57 tons of primarily nets and plastics that we removed over the 21 operational days. And by the time we get to it, it's it's essentially too late if you think about it. It needs to start with education and outreach and and getting stories like this out to the public and to the fishermen to know that, you know, hey, you could be thousands and thousands of miles away and it may not be your home, but you may be impacting somebody's home and their livelihood.